One tip that I always want to recommend or share with my technicians in regards to working on ACs is anticipating any other issues that may arise when working on a condensing unit. Sometimes what happens is we receive a call. The first thing I always recommend to my guys is obviously taking the necessary equipment to diagnose the system, capacitor, contactor. But here, one of the tools that is needed for every call is going to be your gauges. The thing you want to do is obviously you want to tie in your gauges to see if there's refrigerant in the system to check the pressures of your compressor. Here, I'm just going to plug in the low side and you can see, according to my gauges, I do have pressure inside of my compressor and here's my low reading. Right now the system is off so the gauges are in the retard position. Once the compressor turns on, the needle will actually start to balance out and give me the reading of my temperature and my pressures. Say, for whatever reason, the issue is not the compressor, it may be the capacitor or the contactor, but the technician has already put his gauges on the condensing unit. What happens oftentimes is the technician doesn't replace the Schrader valves after making his connection here on the high or the low side. What happens is they replace the capacitor, they remove their gauges, they put the cap back on, and then they kind of go ahead and finish the rest of the work orders. The problem is, if you don't inspect your system thoroughly after walking away and putting your gauges on your system, you may be in a situation where you'll get a call back three days later. Is your Schrader valve has been sitting in the system for 20 years, it's never been touched, and now since you've put your gauges and allowed the system to compress, now the actual gasket here on the Schrader valve is allowing refrigerant to leak from the system. I'm going to take a little bit of my gas leak detector and I'm going to put it at the end and you can see that there is a leak. You can actually hear it. But you can see the bubbles. We'll use the fluorescent one and you can see that it is bubbling up. Indicates to me that there is a refrigerant leak. I always recommend to my technicians is, if you do have to use your gauges, always check to make sure that there is no leak here. If there is a leak, replace the Schrader valve. You don't want to come back three days later and have an issue where the system dumped all the refrigerant. Just take the time, make sure you stand there, do everything that you have to do, and then check for a leak. Sometimes it's as simple as just taking your Schrader valve removal tool and just tightening it back up. And that will sometimes eliminate the leak. And you can see here we're not bubbling up anymore. However, there are times where even tightening it, tightening it down will not allow uh, the, the leak to be eliminated properly. So you will have to replace the Schrader valve. If you have the Schrader valve removal tool, it literally takes three minutes for you to do this job. And I mean, I would recommend if you're going to uh, just ensure that the system has no issues doing it every time you use your gauges if it's sufficient for you. Just a quick tip that I wanted to share that's really helped me in this industry just eliminate callbacks. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.